Hello and welcome to Crunchy Kids TV's fourth episode on how to draw Skylanders. We will be drawing a Ruptor. He's a fire Skylander. And we'll be needing these four pencils, colouring pencils, and this black pencil. It doesn't matter what you're going to use, but using HB, I think. Is probably the best thing you can do. Start off. Starting off, we're going to draw the mouth. So you want to draw a slightly angled line that is curved outwards on either side. Then, and a smiley face on the bottom of it. Then for some teeth. Some quite small teeth. Want about four to be able to fit the top line, and maybe a couple more on the bottom. But I think eight teeth is good. Then you want to draw a second line, thicker at the top, and then coming down the same way as it does on the inner mouth to make the lip. After that, draw a large line and that will be the start of our eye but curve just before the top. Then come slightly further down and then up as we are making the eyebrow itself. After that, draw a second line on the other side for the other eye, and then come across, then a swirl on the other side to show the eyebrow again. A horn on the top of his head and then two lines to show his nose or where his nose would have been if he had one. <laughs> then we can come outwards and then further down for Skylander's body and then we can start on the arm. This needs to come outwards slightly. You want it about as thick as the eye and then a line coming downwards and then across to show the arm. He's got magma balls for his arm, so make it more like a circle. And if you're not happy with it, you can always pause the video to rub it out and to make it more curved. Then, on top of the line, draw another horn and make it slightly more curved. We're going to start on the second one. We want to draw a large circle to draw the arm because he's holding it up. And try to make it really quite circular. Then you can start on the top of the head by coming across slightly a horn, then across again 
to a larger horn and then downwards for the third and final horn. Come down to the bottom of the head and draw a large outer circle and then smaller inner circle all the other way around. Should look like he's almost hypnotised. Then colour in the inner part on both eyes. After that, because he is a magma monster, we need to draw some lines to show the cracking of the molten lava around his body. You can do this how you like, it doesn't have to be the same as me. And it will still look really effective. And you want to do this on the belly and on the top part. You want to do the same thing on the arms. It's the look cracked all over. But don't do it to all the bottom of each magma ball and just come in around it. And then around. For the legs, it's quite quite stubby ones, quite stubby little legs. You want to do that and then come around. Do the same on the other side. And then the foot coming around like so and that is that part finished now for the colours you'll need this kind of colour red pencil and go very lightly over his body in a couple of lines and the head like so you want to only do it lightly because you're going to need a darker red more like this I didn't show you in the top part, but I've just realised that it will need to be very dark if you look at his colour. I'm sorry for not telling you at the beginning, but you can always pause the video. all around the head and the eyebrows
both sides. But don't colour in the horns as it won't look as professional if you do. We'll go out the lines. For the mouth, the same colour, but go in slightly harder just to show that it is the mouth and not a random part of the body. Shading slightly more around that area and then go in black for the mouth. He's not got a tongue so don't worry about that. But if you don't want to use your pencil for the mouth then find a black colouring pencil. Go around the teeth. Well, the teeth aren't going to be white. And then go back to the darker red for the arms. But this time, don't go all the way down. Think of it like as a t shirt. And same with shorts for the legs, as they need to slowly change colour. So now comes in dark orange, blend it in to the body. And then for the lighter orange, on the arms and legs. And then for the light yellow, for all the other parts of the body. You want to do the horns yellow. And you want the teeth yellow as well. The outer rim of the eye it's not part of the eye needs to be yellow and then you'll need a dark orange I think for the part around the iris you want to use a black pencil to very lightly shade that in and I think it is safe to say that this how to draw tutorial on a tour the fire skylander is complete remember to like and subscribe and see you in the next episode